Hi, ladies. This is Sunday. I thought I would go live. I was talking to one of you all last night. I think it was Tanya. And um, she was having trouble with inspiration for her logo. And so some of you that I tagged in this live are new this week. So you won't get to branding until either you decide to expedite your way through module three or third week into the program. So for those who are already on module three, I thought I would give you a quick tutorial on how I use Pinterest to find brand um, inspiration um, and get all of my colors and fonts and everything using Pinterest. So I wanted to show you guys firsthand how to do that. I'm also then going to upload this video into the Marketing Boss Academy in the program so you have reference for it later. But um, feel free to ask me any questions while we're going through, but I'm going to tell you exactly how I go through the process of, of uh, you know, finding inspiration on Pinterest and for my brand. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new board. And I usually create that board for, um, the, with the name of the business, right? So um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to use my, um, we have a, a little family project that we're doing and we are looking, we already, we're, we already have a logo, but I'm going to use this family project as an example, or maybe I'll use um, Tanya's example for so we can keep it travel related. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Tanya's got, um, uh, it's Paradise Chasers. And so I gave her some instructions. So what I would do is I'm going to call this Paradise chasers and I like to you know because this is going to be inspiration and the great thing about this too is you can keep it secret um, and I like to keep it secret because I don't like anybody taking my pins and going with it or looking through my board because it's really about me and what I'm doing um, and then the great thing about having a board is is that you can share it with your web design your graphic artist and let them know what your inspiration is so when I onboard new clients and we're designing a logo for them we do the same thing so I ask them to create a board and share it with me so that I can get a feel for what their thoughts are and then this is where the fun begins all that you really do at this point is is you just start searching for things that are um, interesting to you or things that you like or things that represent in your mind what it is that you are after and so this is really about you your look the feel the things that you like so some of the things that I told Tanya last night to do is, is when I think of Paradise Chaser uh, Chasers, her brand is really about uh, ultra luxury and luxury cruise travel for adults, right? So I think of those brands that are luxurious to me. So Chanel, I told her to, you know, search Chanel. Coco Chanel, you know, who's more luxurious than Coco, right, with her big giant frames. And then just start to look at those things that you like, right? So I like this. Um, forgive me, my daughter just walked in. Of course, she always walks in Sorry. when I'm recording. Um, but anyway, ladies, so I like this. I like the simplicity of this. It's black and white. So I would just pin it. And I would pin it to, to this board, right? not a lot of thought here. I don't want you to spend hours on one picture, right? The idea is, you know what? I kind of like the stitch fit outfit, right? It's got this sort of black because in my mind, I think Paradise Chasers black and white and gold, right? Silver, platinum. Those are the types of things that I think of, right? But that's me. That's not you, right? So that's the reason why I don't ever like to do somebody's board for them. I like them to do their own board, right? So that they can um, they can uh, select the colors and the things that, but the idea is for you to just go through this. Like I even like this sort of Coco Chanel, um, this squirrely girly font, right? So I would save that, right? And I would just save it there, right? That's it. That's all you do. You just go through 
and you look at brands, you look at, you know, I like this pink, right? So I would save that, right? I like this Coco Chanel bottle, right? And see, you know, you can start to see that there's a theme coming, coming in my mind, right? So that's one of the things that I do. But another thing that I like to also do is because I am such a font gal. I love, 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 love fonts, right? And I actually like the marriage of fonts that are both um, squirrely, right? So script fonts, and then I like block fonts together. That's a tr that is again yet another Sundayism. That is a personal, um, personal. Uh, I'm making sure that I'm not missing any of your. messages so I need to get my um, phone up at the same time um, so I always like to look at like what kind of fonts right I always like free fonts um, I like I like to see how people combine fonts together for inspiration so I will I always just like look at Scott like I actually will type in fonts um, I will type in fonts Hey, Tanya, nice to have you on. So I'm not able to, um, so I got my phone up so I can see your comments if you guys have any comments. Or things that represent in your mind what it is that you, that's a trauma, that is. Okay, so let me turn myself off. All right, so I'm good. All right, so like what I'll do is I like to like see script, script fonts and block together. And then it'll give me some, some, um, like here, here's an example of some, right? So I'll be able to see, okay, do I like any of these, right? Right, and again, I don't want you to spend more than a minute or two on something. So if you like it, pin it, that's it. Boom, that's it. Again, do not spend a whole lot of time, you know, like I like this one, I like this Milan one here. I like this bottom one. I like this Milan font here. Again, don't, because you, you know what happens when you get on Pinterest, like you get you get hemmed up, right? And I don't want you getting hemmed up on one page. I want you to like really utilize this inspiration time for you to find a whole bunch of things that you like, right? Um, so that you can start to put together a, a board that has a whole bunch of representation of you. Like, I like this BHK, right? But I really don't like this kind of font. This is, again, the Sundayism. I don't particularly care for font that has this, uh, it's called sans serif, the little lips on the, you know, that. I don't like sans serif font. But you may, right? So, again, pick what you like. Pick the fonts that you like. Pick the things that stand out for you. So, some of the other searches that I want you to do is, like, website color schemes. Right, or color palettes, that might be another one, right? That, I don't like that one. So let's do color palette. Because when you do color palette, what will happen is, is you'll get all these different color palettes here. Now, if you have an idea in your mind on what you want, then what you could do is do, like I said, I, I, I saw black and white in my head and platinum. Right? So... And of course, it, it thinks I'm saying uh, platinum hair, but I'm not really thinking platinum hair. It's going to be into that. Now, even if you like a hair color, you like this, like I like this sort of gray tone, right? I'd probably pin that. Right? And I really feel in this so much. So. I'm gonna put that. Right? I'm not really getting anything here. I like. I kind of like this peach. This peach, right? Because I always like black and white and with the peach with the splash of something going on. Yes, it will be available, Michael. Um, I'm gonna not only at the top of this video I said I was gonna put it also in Marketing Academy underneath branding so that you guys can have it when you get to Module Three. But like, I would pin this. Right, because I like that. I just I like the way it looks. Right. So like this combination is not getting me anything. So 
Um, I would put website black and white. There we go. Let's see. Let's see what they, they come up with. Yeah. All right. So here comes that color again, right? So I would do that. I don't really like any of these. All right. I'm going through it again. One, no more than one to two minutes, but I do like this one, right? I like, I like, I like those. I like those, that color combination, right? I like the stripes, I like the floral, and so I could see some action, right? So I always like Damask. I mean, that's a personal favorite, right? So again, the idea with the Pinterest inspiration, because just like this is your business, this is your design, this is your feel, this is what you wanna invoke, and nobody can do that better than you in terms of what you feel and what you like and what's appealable to your eye. Now, I haven't run into a customer yet that puts together a color combination that I'm just like, oh my God, that is like the worst thing I have ever seen in my entire life, and that is not gonna sell. That is not to mean that I won't in the future. And I tell you that because there would probably be some color combinations that would probably turn people off, right? So again, think about the vision of who you are relative to the business that you're trying to create. And when somebody walks in, so quick picture the fact that you're creating this, um, that you're, you're creating this business this actual brick and mortar business and they were going to walk into your office what would you want them to feel see smell touch and experience right because that is the same feeling you want to invoke when they come to your website when they interact with your with your marketing material that is the same thing your logo needs to reflect that so even though you may not be having a brick and mortar store you want to em evoke those emotions right so that's why to me this is such an important step because it needs to be in line with your brand now if you are, so let me tell you something that's not like, um, that are not a lie. <clears throat> so say you are a kid's travel, like you just want to do like, you know, maybe create, um, you know, create travel dream experiences for children who are sick with cancer, right? Probably Coco Chanel is probably not the best inspiration for that, right? Um, you know, something that's going to have a bright, bold kid colors is probably going to be something that's more appropriate, right? Even though I like black, white, and gold and platinum, generally as my color themes, I probably wouldn't stay with that when I'm thinking of a kid's theme, right? So even though it is about what you like, it really still needs to go in line with who you're servicing. Now, Tanya servicing adults, right? So she really can go with any color scheme that she wants, but I probably wouldn't pick a whole lot of, you know, pinks only because your couples would probably have some men, right? But you could, because it's your business. You really could do whatever the hell you want, right? But I guess what I'm trying to say is just kind of think about your audience. Think about the experience that you want them to have when interacting with your brand, and that's what this is all about. So you don't have to create the brand. What you're trying to do with this Pinterest board is create enough content that your designer can get in your head and understand what it means to you to, for your brand. So I'm going to go back to Facebook and ask if you guys have any questions. All right, so Tanya, I see that you joined. So I used you as an example. <laughs> so hopefully you created your board. How's it been going? Did you create your board? Um, so some things for you to consider. So some of the things that are in the search criteria that I want you to think about is fonts. Uh, fonts. Um, I want you to do color palettes. Um, website designs, because sometimes the website designs um, will give you some inspiration. Clothing, you know, I didn't do that, but let's go back to Pinterest and let's see what they've got in the clothing space, right? So did I did a little bit of clothing pieces, but let's uh, let's let's talk let's just put ultra luxury. Interiors, I like that. Huh. 
Oh yeah, see, I, immediately a color scheme comes out. Like I really, really like that, right? So I would save that, um, right? I would, I would save it because I like it. So again, this is all about what you like. Um, you know, I like this. So again, you start to see that when you're dealing with Sunday, she's got a particular theme in her mind. Same thing's going to happen with you is that you're going to start to pick the things that you like when you're thinking about your business. And that's what this inspiration does for you. So I want you to be very specific about um, getting at least 40 to 50 pictures inside of your board, right? So you may be like 40, 50, really? Yes, I want 40 or 50 because out of that 40 and 50, we're going to start to see some themes about what you like and what is um, important to you from the perspective of your inspiration. So 40 to 50, you know, at minimum 20, but don't go less than 20 because that's still not enough. So clothing, I don't care what it is. Clothing, you can do um, interior design. Um, these are all options for you to search. Let's see, interior design. Um, you can also do uh, photography. You know, don't forget your travel supplier sites. You know, the type of travel that you're doing. So don't forget destinations as well because those may all have some ideas for you to think about as well. So how is it going, Tanya? Have you... Have you, were you able to pin some things? Did you find some things that were important or that you liked? Again, like, that's the word. Operative word is like, what you like. Right? And so from a web, so I'm going to tell you what's important from a web designer's perspective. Web designer cares about three major elements of design. They're going to care about color, they're going to care about fonts, and they're going to care about what type of imagery you like. Right? So that is the reason why this so like if you go to fonts and you can't pick out fonts right and say you pick out you know five or six different pages really just cue in on the fonts that you like because then the designer can then pick fonts that are similar or they could actually find the font that you like and then draw it up for you with the name of your business so that you can see what it looks like with the name of your business right so that's important so web designer cares about fonts colors and imagery right so that is the reason why i want you to tag stuff that's got words in it pictures of things that, so that it, it has pictures and colors so that they can also determine the types of pictures to include i am not a big um i am not a big uh clip art person I, I just personally don't like clip art, but clip art is an option for you. Um, just be really careful if you decide to do a logo using clip art that you, um, you know, that it is, it represents your brand, right? It represents who it is that you want. There's some vector files that, which is a different type of uh, clip art that can be done really nicely. And so, Again, if you, you know, you may want to even search inside of Pinterest clip art, or you may want to uh, search travel pictures. Again, whatever it is that you like, the idea on this inspiration board is to get as many pictures represented of what you think when you think about your brand on the board so that your designer can utilize that as inspiration for the creation of your logo. So hopefully this was helpful. You know how much I love hearts. So if it was helpful, give me some love. Um, if you have any questions, if you watch this in the replay, um, you know, I would ask that you ask the questions in the Marketing Boss Academy because that's where this, this video is going to live, ultimately will live. You can just tag me in the Academy on the questions or whatever. But thank you for the love. I appreciate the heart. I, I do. Um, all right. So that concludes this. And so I will see you guys in about 45 minutes for our group coaching call this uh, tonight. So talk to you guys soon.